When the Solar Decathlon started in 2002, there's been three events. Our event in 2009 is gonna be the fourth of such events. University got involved in it because I saw that this was something that uh, certainly would be exciting for the people of the Commonwealth to be involved with. Colleges from across the world, not just the United States, have uh, applied to be one of 20 teams competing to build a solar home with, that has a um, net energy of zero. Here we're talking about a home that provides as much energy back onto the electrical grid as it takes from the grid. We received word in 2008 that our submission was successful and what we've done in large part is open up the range of energy opportunities that are being researched across the Commonwealth and opened up the question to the Commonwealth at large, how do we live under the sun today? We really want to bring Kentucky to this project. We don't just want to create a solar home, we want to build something that also has the heart of Kentucky in it. So we started thinking about things we can do. And it is a solar house. We have the idea of the sky. And we also have the logo. We've got the yellow sun. And then we've got the S. And you can see the period KY in the logo. So it's the word sky, but it's also, you can see Kentucky, the KY. Well, there are three major goals for the solar decathlon project. To build technical capacity, to show that it can be done, and to show that can be done in a home that is marketable and the type of homes that people would want to live in. I think the really interesting thing is that you can harvest sun, it can be integrated, but also that quality of light tra totally transforms. Letting that in through the roof into the building space, again, makes people aspire to live in a better fashion. Our goal, of course, with our particular entry to the Solar Decathlon is to have that resonate throughout the Commonwealth. So our idea is that we're going to be bringing forward through the design and the construction of our project in the next three to four months will actually have greater impact through the Commonwealth because a lot of the ideas that we're developing right now are actually prototypical ideas. The core group is made up of engineers and architects and engineer, but we realize that engineers and architects can design and build the best widget in the world. But if we can't get our story across, we've lost it. So therefore, we're also working with the integrated strategic communication group within the university. And Renee has done a great job in pulling together a lot of the, leading the communications groups. And there are 10 competitions in the Solar Decathlon. It's not just the house. And one aspect of that is the communications plan. So we have to develop for each stage along the way what we're going to do. So I'm working on the web page. And beyond that, um, we're also having a Facebook page. Um, we've got a, a Flickr account. Um, we're able to um, RSS the latest updates out to people. One of the really uh, interesting and positive attributes of the uh, Solar Decathlon is the fact that it's allowing students to take multiple uh, opportunities or options and test them out against multiple conditions. So. Uh, when they come in, they have preconceived ideas of how to solve a problem. Basically, we want them to succeed at a level that is living up to their highest expectations and to not be in positions where they feel like they're running into a brick wall and not knowing how to get around it, over it, under it. You can run into a brick wall, but you don't have to go through it sometimes. There's other ways around it. And so, so I think that that's our real goal is to let students beyond just designing an object that sits on the mall is letting them know how to learn. And we are certainly looking forward to the opportunity of showcasing a lot of what's going on in Kentucky and hopefully we will make Kentucky proud of what we are able to do for them.